Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you, Kadir? How are you, Sapphire? How are you, Alicia? I'm good. Good, good. So, I'm doing well. how I see... are you? Hi, how are you, Claudia? I see uh, 13 people here, and then on the, let's see, on uh, today's forum. I see also 13. So yeah, everyone, um, everyone on the uh, uh, in the collaborate session are also, you know, uh, in today's forum, right? So numbers match. So um, in our last class, um, so we. Uh, Uh, we were, you know, discussing uh, basically, you know, uh, we couldn't quite finish income statement, but, you know, we went all the way to EBIT, right? In other words, you know, earnings before interest and taxes, right? And, you know, EBIT is, um, also called operating profit, right? Operating profit. Uh, and I told you earnings is the, uh, 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 because EBIT stands for earnings before interest and taxes, right? Uh, it, it is already self, self revealing or self predicting what's gonna happen from that point on, right? And anybody with some, you know, sensibility uh, can tell uh, also that earnings is the same thing as profit, right? And operating profit, also called operating income, but I told you uh, the term income is not the most appropriate term to use uh, from this point on because, and I, I've been going over this over and over, income is not the, uh, Income is, you know, uh, uh, basically a gross state, right? Income is gross income, basically. Okay. Income means, you know, uh, this is income, right? Um, ah, Jesus. When I'm, when I'm pointing at, uh, this is this is income, right? Uh, although in accounting, they keep rip using the term income over and over, uh, and which is the reason I don't like accounting, uh, main reason what I don't like about accounting, because they, uh, of course, you know, there's a, um, there's, uh, there's a good reason why they uh, keep using the term, but, you know, uh, keeping that term interchange, uh, keeping that term and using it interchangeably inevitably causes some confusion. So that's why I prefer, uh, I prefer not to use income here, right? That's not the, uh, uh, so I prefer to call it operating profit, right? Operating profit. So because, um, uh, earnings before interest and taxes from that name, from that name, uh, you can already tell what's, what's gonna happen. What should happen next? What should happen next is paying interest, right? Because the name is already name, name says it all earnings before interest and taxes earnings before. So then interest comes next. Uh, and the reason we have interest to pay is because we have borrowing, we have uh, debt. So um, why do we have debt in the first place? Uh, it's because to think about it. Uh, remember what initial investment is, right? Uh, the total total fixed cost, also called initial investment, 
or sunk cost. Uh, this is something um, for any manufacturing, right? For any ma manufacturing, uh, it requires a huge initial investment, right? Manu especially the examples, the example we've been using is centered around Dell, computer manufacturing. So uh, for computer manufacturing, it would cost at least, you know, uh, uh, something like hundred million dollars to build the plant, right? We need a factory. We must have, you know, equipment installed in it. Uh, it's not going to be just about, you know, a thousand dollars or, you know, um, hundreds of thousands of dollars. It will be much more, you know. It's not. It will be like hundreds of millions of dollars, and. So how do you, question is, you know, um, then how do you raise that capital? How do you raise that capital? There are only uh, two ways. Only two ways. Either you get an investor, right, who will invest like, you know, uh, millions of dollars. Is it going to be easy? No, of course not. If it is easy to get an investor, everybody will start, every, everyone will start up, right? If it is easy to get an investor, everyone will start up. And investor in this case means investor means in you know, a uh, uh, venture capital here, venture capital. Investor is someone who takes the risk who takes the risk of, you know, um, uh, in case your business fails, then investor gets nothing. So it's a huge risk, right? Venture capital takes the risk. That's why they are called venture capital, right? The venture means adventure, right? They are really, you know, um, on an adventure. They are embarking on an adventure because if you're a startup you're a big question mark you don't have any uh, um, uh, track record uh, you have uh, nothing nothing to uh, uh, compensate you in there uh, in case they fail but you know that's what investors are that's what investors are they become part owners right Stockholders are basically uh, uh, basically investors. Stockholders are investors that are taking the risk. If the company fails, the stocks turn into uh, nothing but you know uh, uh, a piece of paper, right? Um, and if the uh, uh, company loses, right? The stock price will drop if the company makes no profit. Stock price will drop, um, and the stockholders incur losses, and nobody will compensate for that, right? Because the stockholders are taking that risk. You can't hold anybody accountable for that, but you know uh, your own self. Now, so. For this company to uh, raise that hundred million dollar capital to build the plant, uh, they need to have uh, some venture capital, or they have to borrow it from the bank. Also, think about it. Uh, it's only theoretically uh, possible to borrow from the bank or to uh, you know, invite uh, a venture capital. A venture capital would, you know. Um, if ever, uh, uh, but you know, uh, in case of borrowing from the bank, uh, in it's unrealistic, right? Practically, no bank will, no lender will lend uh, to a startup because startup is just a big question mark. Uh, but hypothetically, let's say you know, although. Realistically, it's impossible. 
to find a venture capital or you know to find a lender who is willing to lend to you but just you know uh, hypothetically let's say you are able to find a venture capital who is willing to uh, invest 500,000 uh, um, 50 million in you and the other 50 million must come from the uh, debt right then the other 50 million must be from the bank and let's say hypothetically that was all possible so then you know um, this is you know so your 100 million dollar initial investment came 50 50 percent from 50 percent from the uh, equity and 50 percent from debt right uh, and that's called capital structure 50 percent equity 50 percent debt that's called capital structure and of course 50 50 is not an ideal capital structure i mean you usually um um, the optimal capital structure is found somewhere between um, so suppose you have 70 million equity of 70 million and debt of 30 million right and your total assets of course then will be 100 million right and you can See, the capital structure is 70% you know, equity, 30% debt, right? And the optimal capital structure is found somewhere between, uh, actually optimal optimal uh, capital structure as always um, empirically empirically um, seventy to sixty percent equity and then thirty to forty percent debt right empirically the optimal capital structure is found uh somewhere there right um so you might wonder um some people might wonder um would an optimal capital structure be 100 percent equity zero percent debt no if you that is not the most efficient um combination uh you might think you know having you know only you know uh, equity uh, and no debt would be uh, wonderful no it's not it's not uh, there's a reason why uh, 60 to 70 percent equity versus 30 to 40 percent debt is optimal okay that um, that uh, uh, that way you get the you maximize the uh, uh, return on equity and uh, under optimal uh, capital structure you get you know uh, maximum return on equity and maximum earnings per share okay so anyway um, that that brings us to um, uh, the understanding of why we have interest okay so um, after paying out interest, then once you pay interest, this becomes, now, what should we call this? Okay, if you follow, if you follow this column of, you know, uh, we have two columns of nomenclature, one column, uh, EBIT column, right? Uh, the other column, you know, um, uh, I don't know, you know, uh, 
uh, there's, uh, let's just call it, you know, uh, left column and the right column. The right column has its own naming logic, right? So um, think about it. After paying interest, what should it be called now? You should call and it earning after taxes. Earnings after taxes? When? Why after taxes? When did we pay taxes? Should be earning before taxes because they haven't been. Yes. Paid. Yes. Who said that? Who said that? Maria. Maria. Cervantes. Maria Cervantes, right? Yes. Is that right? Okay. Yes. Maria, you got 0 0.5. Yes. So it should be called EBT, earnings before taxes. We haven't paid taxes yet. So uh, another name, if you follow, then if you follow this column, if you follow this column, what should it be called? If you follow the left column, what should it be called? Hmm? Think about it. Logically, it's earnings before taxes. If it is the earnings before taxes, then what is the, uh, what should be the, uh, the, the appropriate name in the left column. Isn't that initial uh, investment? No. Initial investment is, this is initial investment. Total fixed cost is the initial investment. How can it be initial investment? I mean, initial investment is actually, you know, uh, a balance sheet line item. It's not the income statement line item. I mean, you know, uh, total fixed cost is the initial investment. Uh, but, you know, um, initial investment is already expressed here as total fixed cost. So, and it's part of the expenses. You subtract expenses from the income. You subtracted expenses from income. That's how you arrive at the operating I think profit. From I think that, you subtracted in interest. Then it's called EBT, earnings before taxes. Then what should this be called in the left column? In other words, what but is- But you mean after paying taxes? Oh, no, no, we haven't paid taxes yet, right? Because the, look at, think about, the name is earnings before taxes. Before taxes? That means you haven't paid taxes yet, right? Isn't that right? Just think logically. Before taxes, so you are before taxes, right? The, the interest. Profit. What? Interest. No, interest was already paid. Interest was already, aren't you looking at this, right? Aren't you looking at this? If you are looking at the screen, interest is already accounted for. Obviously, that's not where the interest, that's not equal to interest. That's the result. EBT is the result of paying interest already. But that should be a uh, gross income. No, how can it be gross income? I, how many times have I told you? This, this is gross income. Ah. But you ask him before we pay taxes, right? Yeah, so before paying taxes, what should it be called? Mm -hmm. Operation income? Ah. There is no such thing as operation income. It is operating income, if ever, operating income, not operation income. Operating income. Huh? But operating income is already done. Don't should, you see? We already, we should already. We call, should we call it net already, profit? No. We already, we already yeah. talked about operating income here. And I already told you, um, income is not the, you know, a, right word to use here only accounting uses income there gross income is this is the gross income how many times have i told you this is the gross income 
because income means gross. Income is something in gross state. One should subtract expenses. It shouldn't be called income anymore. It shouldn't be called income anymore. Right? But in accounting, they, they still continue to call that income. They still continue to call the operating income. So I told you that's not, uh, the better term is operating profit, which is also called EBIT, earnings before interest and taxes. Okay, but from, again, There is a reason why accounting still, you know, continue while still it continues to call this income, but that's not the most, that's not the right, most, you know, best terminology. It should be called operating profit. And accounting calls it in many different ways. That's something wrong with accounting. I mean, they call it operating income, operating profit, they call it EBIT, but you should know all of them. Right? I don't like accounting for their lack of consistency and uniformity. But you know, as I told you, uh, they have a they have a good you know excuse for that. They have a good excuse for that. But again, because it is confusing, it is your job to clarify that in your mind. You should instill in your own mind what is equal to what. What is not equal to what? That's your job. That's your responsibility. No matter how many times I explain this to you, you still make mistake. That means it's not enough just to talk about it in class. You have to take your own time to make this clear in your mind. That's called studying. And if you don't do that, it will always be, you know, uh, the same thing over and over. It will always be that, you know, uh, some people will still call that, you know, uh, gross income. Gross income, this one is gross income, this one. How many times did I tell you? But still that come, keeps coming up. That's why I'm telling you, it, you need to study. Take your own time to study and instill this in your mind. So from the EBIT, right? And you're not blind. Are you blind or you cannot see this screen? Or are, if you're just on the phone, if you're on the phone, you cannot see this probably. But you know, it's, ab it's mandatory that you should you should have, you should see this on your computer screen because otherwise it's not gonna, it's not gonna work. And on, if you see this on your screen, if you see this on your screen, you know what I'm pointing at. Operating profit is the same thing as EBIT. And because EBIT is earnings before interest and taxes, the next what comes next is the interest. So you pay interest, and after paying interest, it becomes EBT, earnings before taxes. Isn't it quite obvious? Why? Isn't it quite obvious from EBIT, you paid interest. So this drops, I drops. If I drops, then it should be EBT. Isn't that right? Everyone, are you listening uh, and are you watching and listening at the same time? Yeah. 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 Then, you know, isn't it isn't it obvious when after paying interest, then I should drop out? It becomes EBT, right? And then because it is earnings before taxes, if you follow the left column, what should be the name of that in the left column? Now, this is just the uh, um, ability to uh, paraphrase and rephrase. It's the earnings before inter uh, paying taxes, earnings right before paying taxes. So then what should it be called? 
it's just testing your ability to paraphrase. Shouldn't it be called taxable income? Is taxable income a very difficult word? Huh? Because it's the earnings before taxes, then how else can it be? What else can it be? It's called taxable income. It's the same thing. EBT, taxable income, they mean the same thing. We just follow, we just follow two different columns, right? By the right column, it's called EBT. By the left column, it's called the taxable income. So then what should come next? Think about it. What should come next? Colon, like the right or the left column? Uh, well, left column because, you know, uh, um, the left columns will be net profits. No. The left column? Left column yeah. or right column is the same thing. Whatever comes next, what should come next? Uh, think about it. I just, interest, I just wrote it in the left column. But isn't that, isn't that the same thing? This thing also applies, interest, that also applies to the right column as well. I just, I just didn't write it again. I just didn't write it again because it's also interest there. Isn't it right? So then think about it. It's earn, right now, it's earnings before taxes, right? It's earnings before taxes. Then what should come next? What must Earn, happen next? Er, earnings after taxes? No, no. How can you have earnings after taxes? To have earnings after taxes, what must happen before that? This is just logic. Think about it. Um, when we had earnings with EBIT, when he had EBIT, right? Earnings before interest and taxes, right? EBIT. From that name, what could we, what could we already predict? What should, what should come next? Because the name is earnings before interest and taxes, the next thing that must happen was interest. Isn't it right? Anyone following? Is anyone following? Yeah. Okay, just one person. Look, from earnings before taxes. Yes, following. Good, good. Okay, at least two people. Um, earning interest from even you can you know because it's earnings before interest and taxes. What comes next is interest. It's already predictable from the name, and then now it is earnings before taxes. Earnings before taxes. From the name, what is what is already predictable? From the name, earnings before taxes, what is predictable? What should come next? Come on, guys. Nobody, nobody can think logically. <sighs> earnings before taxes is taxable income. It's our, because it is before taxes. Then what should come next? Shouldn't taxes come next? Shouldn't shouldn't taxes come next? How come <laughs> nobody understands this? This is a very straightforward logic, earnings before taxes. So then next comes taxes. You should, from the taxable income, is it only isn't it only natural to pay taxes from the taxable income? Isn't it only natural? that the taxes come out of taxable income? 
Yes. Yeah. But why is it so difficult? You are, you know, you're all just, you're just blurting out something that is totally, you know, illogical because from the name, how can it be EAT? To have EAT, earnings after taxes, you must pay taxes first. That's what the name says. EAT, earnings after taxes. Without paying taxes, you cannot have earnings after taxes. So from EBT, earnings before taxes, what must happen next, logically, is taxes. You understand? And nobody was able to, you know, give such a logical, you know, just straightforward, logical answer. And think about it. For where would the taxable, where, where will, where can taxes come from? It should come out of taxable income. Right? And then after paying taxes, then so taxes are gone. So then what should this be called? Net profit. Yeah, in the left column, it should be called net income or net profit. Net income or net profit. Again, I prefer profit to income here. Right? The only reason I keep using this in the term income there is because accounting keeps using it. And and because because of that, I don't like accounting. But as I, I told you, accounting has a good excuse for that. Uh, I'm going to have, uh, you know, um, uh, that will have to be explained later. But, you know, uh, think about it. Isn't it better? Because over and over, income means this. That's income. That's gross income, literally. It's the gross state. Gross stage or gross state of income. Once you subtract these things, then it's no longer, it, should be, it shouldn't be called income anymore. But only, you know, only because accounting keep using income here. And that, that's a very, you know, um, um, inconsistent thing Because now this should be called profit or earnings, but you know, they keep, and it could be by using the term income here as if then this is profit, then that makes, if we, if this income here is the same thing as profit here, does that mean we can call also this profit? Can we call this profit? The, you know, you see what I'm pointing at, right? Can we call this? Ay, 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 ay. You should know that you, we cannot we cannot call this profit, right? You should know we cannot call uh, gross income profit just because the other incomes are called profit, right? You cannot call this one profit, right? It's not profit, right? As long as you can tell the difference between what uh, gross and net, right? Anybody with minimal sensibility would tell the different can tell the difference between gross state and net state.
So again, um, although I don't like the, I don't like to use the term pro, uh, income here, I just have to because that's you know um, uh, that's the accounting's convention. Now, if you follow if you follow the uh, uh, right column, if you follow the right column, what should be this called? EAT. Yeah, now it is EAT. Now it is EAT. And who said that? Mukhtar. Okay, Mukhtar. You got you got a 0 0.5. I believe you you also said net profit there before. So you got one actually. Um, so EAT earnings after taxes. Now think about it. The word itself is the word itself is explaining it fully. I mean, um, EBIT earnings before interest and taxes. From the name, you can, the name says it all. The name says it all, doesn't it? What should come next is the interest. The name says it all. And then after paying interest, then what should it be called? EBT, earnings before taxes, because interest, I, dropped out. By paying interest, I dropped out. And then EBT, earnings before taxes. The name says it all. You're at earnings before paying taxes. So what should it be called? Another name, taxable income. And what should come next? Taxes must come next, right? Taxes must come next. The name says it all. So you pay taxes. And after paying taxes, it should be called, you, paid, you have already paid taxes. So it's called EAT, earnings after taxes. Uh, another name for that is net profit. Okay. Now, think about it. Um, this is the uh, um, sort of like final stage. But again, um, uh, uh, it can go further, but you know, generally, uh, uh, what comes next is you know, dividend. Uh, but then uh, that's optional, right? Uh, from think about it, uh, they can companies may pay. It's an option. They can pay out, or they don't have to pay out dividend. But if they pay out dividend, it it comes out of the uh, net profit, right? And after paying dividends, it's called retained earnings. Retained earnings. But this is you know. Uh, um, this is op optional phase. It's optional phase. It's not the uh, it's the it's not the end of the uh, uh, income statement. Income st the the end of the income statement is EAT, right? And then think about it. Who does this belong to? Who does that EAT? Who does the net profit belong to? Hmm? The, who does the net profit belong to? The, the shareholders or owners. Right, right. Shareholders or owners, right? That was Mukhtar, right? It belongs to the shareholders or owners. But does that mean the company distributes? Does the does that mean the company distributes this profit? to the shareholders? Does the company distribute the profit to the shareholders? No, I don't think no, so. No. no, no. The company doesn't distribute it to the shareholders. If the shareholder wants to recoup it, uh, they can simply sell, those, sell their stocks, right? They can simply sell their stocks. Uh, once the company has uh, generated this much, let's say, you know, whatever the profit is, you know, let's say that's $10 million or whatever. The profit is generated uh, and, and from their operating activities, right? And this is, when we say operating activity, right? Operating activity means actually, um, uh, 
defined as from here to here, right? From income to operating income, right? From income to operating, all, all the process from income to operating profit, right? That's operating activity, okay? Uh, when we say uh, operation, we all know what it means. Uh, for the bank, uh, I mean, you know, for, of course, operation for, mil uh, for military, mi military operation means, you know, we know what that means, you know, uh, for uh, medicine, right? In medicine, operation means surgery, right? But, you know, for business operation, we know uh, that's an activity, operating activity, operation involves uh, activities. Uh, of, you know, making something and selling something, uh, making a product or, you know, creating a product, services, whatever. Uh, and uh, then what? Selling them, right? But then, you know, verbal, once again, I don't like verbal definition because verbal definition is always, you know, blurry, right? It can, it, it is fleeting and, and it is just, you know, uh, Sometimes, you know, um, double talk, empty words, double talk. But then if you define it mathematically, it's infallible. Also, if you define it like structurally, uh, graphically or structurally, this is structural definition. Operating activity means, you know, uh, uh, all the process uh, from income to operating profit. Okay. Of course, you know, the uh, processes, you know, uh, or uh, income, major source of income is, you know, uh, sales revenue. Sales revenue is what the, you know, um, the primary, what the companies, the result of what the companies do. They sell something, their sales revenue, and then they have to pay out expenses, CGS and operating expenses. And you arrive at uh, operating profit or EBIT. Right, that's operating activity. For exactly from here, income to from here to here, right? From operating uh, from income to operating profit. Okay. Uh, and all the businesses, I think, I believe, I talked about this. All the businesses engage in three types of activities. Uh, uh, operating activity, investing activity, and uh, financing activity. All the businesses engage in three types of activities. One, operating activity. Uh, investing activity. Three, financing activity. And verbally explaining, uh, uh, this is operating activity, uh, this is investing activity, finance, this is financing activity. Yeah, it can be verbally explained, but it, it just, it's a waste of time. It takes time. I mean, if, if it can be explained in five seconds, and then, you know, you can retain that for, you know, um, uh, all your life, then it's very efficient and very effective. But actually, you know, it doesn't take five five seconds. It will take five minutes to explain, you know, each one of them. And you generally don't retain it for one semester in your memory, right? Um, but that's that's quite normal, you know. Um, um, so it's then it's more efficient and effective to explain it like this. Operating activity is uh, all the process from income to operating profit. And that explains, you know, what's going on there. Or from income, you, sub, uh, you subtract expenses, right? The expenses come from CGS and operating expenses, and then you arrive at operating profit, and that's the operating activity, okay? Uh, so, uh, again, uh, we are almost out of time. Uh, 
EAT isn't, you know, net profit isn't distributed to the uh, shareholders, right? Uh, but sometimes, uh, because if you distribute all the uh, profit to the shareholders, then a uh, company cannot reinvest, uh, reinvest in its growth. They, they have, you know, nothing to reinvest in their own growth. So the company won't be able to, uh, you know, uh, company won't be able to grow, then the company won't be able to uh, uh, capture more market share, right? So that's why uh, most companies do not pay out uh, uh, all of the uh, net profit. They don't. Uh, instead, they just pay out a small token, right? Dividend is some uh, a fraction of that net profit could be 10% of the net profit or whatever 5% or 20% depends on you know uh, uh, it's called dividend payout ratio right what percentage of the net profit how much of the net profit will they pay out as dividend so um Dividend payout ratio. So the dividend is a uh, like a small fraction of the net profit paid out as a uh, of uh, you know profit sharing. Oh, we're sharing profit with the shareholders. It's just a token amount. It's, you know, most of the times just nominal. Think about it. Uh, Apple. Apple's dividends are like you know uh, twenty five cents per share. 25 cents per share per, per quarter so that it's just designed to add up to one dollar a year regard you know think about it apples think about apples you know price uh, if apples price is you know what two hundred dollars uh, and you know um, that's not that's not the profit profit uh, it's the share price um, Profit is reflected in the share price. Let's say uh, if Apple's share price is $200 uh, at the end of 2021, but at the end of 2022, if Apple's price is 250, then what is that 50? That's the capital gains, right? Uh, we all know the price went up $50 by $50. That's like 25% growth rate right but then why did it grow by 25 percent why did in other words apple's total uh, net profit increased by 25 percent and it is you know price is reflecting that 25 percent growth uh that 25 percent um whatever that you know uh uh profit is net profit is right uh, and that profit per share or earnings per share, that earnings per share is reflected in the uh, stock price. So Apple's price end of 2021, that's, of course, price is always price per share, right? And uh, if it went up to, uh, if it went up by $50, that $50, $50 is earnings per share. And they are paying out 10, let's say uh, Apple is pay, if Apple is paying out 10% as dividend, then it should be $5. But they don't really pay out like that. They pay out just token amount because nobody knows what's going to be the earnings per share at the end of the year, and the, but the dividend is paid quarterly. So uh, in the first, at the end of the first quarter, uh, after the first quarter is over, uh, some dividends are paid out after the second quarter is over. Some dividends are paid out, and Apple cannot make sure that they are gonna get you know fifty dollar increase in earnings per share by the end of the year. They don't know, right? They cannot. They they don't know until the year is over. So until then, they just pay out just the token amount. That's why it's like twenty five cents uh, per share. Dividend is twenty like. Okay, uh, we are out of time, so um, I'm gonna have to. Uh, uh, I'm gonna have to. Uh, uh, 
stop recording here uh, and stop sharing and uh, uh, stop recording. Uh, any um, so uh, have a great afternoon, everyone. All righty, all righty. I'll say goodbye to everyone now. If you have any questions, I'll um, I'll stay a, a couple of more minutes, but I have another class starting at three. Any questions so far? Any questions? Uh, any I have questions? a question about the result, Professor. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, I'll stop share. Uh, I'll stop recording. Um, and classes dismissed, technically. Uh, so uh, we're calling it a day. Um, yeah, and once. I'm gonna uh, once I stop recording, I'm gonna uh, answer your question, okay?